okay dear students so let us see this question uh, a wire carrying a current i is placed in a region of uniform magnetic field b as shown in the diagram so as the diagram goes we can see that the magnetic field is coming out of the plane it is coming from the screen towards you and there is a wire it is placed like this nearly 45 degree angle and uh, the current direction is also shown here so as i've earlier told you in all other videos uh, that instead of flaming's right hand rule or left hand rule i i prefer to use a right hand palm rule which is already written on your screen there are three types to it type one type two and type three so in all my previous videos i have explained all the rules and in this video particularly i am using only type two and uh this is the first of the questions that uh, we are solving in which we are finding the force on a current carrying conductor earlier to that we have used the same law to find the force on moving positive charge and so in this question again we would be using the right hand palm rule type 2 according to it this is our right hand and our fingers will be pointing towards the magnetic field so magnetic field is coming towards me from the laptop screen so i am keeping my fingers towards me okay and where will be the current so current is at 45 degree angle just imagine that you are keeping your fingers near to the rod and the magnetic field is outside and my thumb is pointing towards the current so my palm is pointing towards downwards at 45 degree angle so the force that will be experienced here by the rod will be in this direction so this will be the force f i am repeating it again this is the right hand side right hand palm rule uh, uh, sorry this is the right hand okay and so my fingers are now pointing towards the magnetic field which is coming out of the plane so i'm keeping fingers like this towards me out of the plane and my thumb is pointing towards the current at 45 degree angle so my palm is going downwards so i can say that the force will be f and what will be the magnitude of that now so we know that the formula for this is i into l cross b this is the vector formation and in scalar form it will be simple b i l sin theta because theta here is 90 degree the angle between the wire and the magnetic field is 90 degree sin 90 is 1 so it will be equal to b i l so option a is absolutely correct the direction shown is correct and it is equal to b i l so let us verify our answer from the mark scheme once and yes the answer is a so with this all the best bye